Hello, today I want to go through two topics. The first is, if you know where you are, how can you identify a ground feature on a map? So say you see a mountain top or the edge of a forest, how do you actually find that feature on your map? And while we're on the topic, we may as well go through lo relocation because it's, if you don't know where you are, sometimes you need to be able to find out where you are on a map. Um, so those are what we're going to do today. I think there's only two topics in that. Yeah, you either know where you are or you don't. I think that's the only two options. Unless you're Schrodinger's cat. <laughs> then there's a third option. Um, but that's a different video. So first things first, let's assume that you've seen a mountain top off in the distance and you want to locate that feature on your map. Let's, let's go through how to do that. So I've put the... Uh the map on the floor because the table I was just sat at has a, a metal frame and it was messing up the compass. So let's say you're here by this small lake, which is in because it's in the Scottish Highlands, technically it's called the Lochan, but we'll call it a small lake. So there's a small lake, you know where you are, and you've looked around and you've seen a mountain around you and it's at a bearing of 339. Um, so you want to identify on the map what that mountain is, where is it? So all you do, get your compass put it down and rotate the entire compass until 339 is directly underneath the index mark which is there okay so th 339 degrees is underneath the index mark now all you do is rotate the bezel until it is the tri the tritium mark is above the the north arrow next pick up the whole compass make sure that the edge of the compass is touching your location so it's here and then all you're going to do keeping it touching your location just rotate the entire compass until the tritium mark is pointing straight up the map until it's pointing north okay so it's now pointing straight up the map and it's come off me slightly so there you go the tritium mark this one is pointing straight up the map and then all you do you can either just look along the compass but for this video i'll do it like that so that's your bearing and there's your mountain. So that's how you identify a ground feature on a map using a lensatic compass. If you're in an area with declination, either east or west, then before you point the thing up, point the tritium mark up the map, adjust it for declination. So if it's, it's a westerly declination, you adjust anti-clockwise. If it's an easterly de declination, it's clockwise okay so that's how that works right let's have a look at the next one I shall get a different map and we'll look at how to find yourself um, if you're not quite sure where you are so for the next scenario what we're doing is for some reason we're climbing in Switzerland and we find ourselves just northwest of uh, Zermatt and we find ourselves on this glacier okay but we don't know exactly where we are on the glacier now on glacier terrain knowing your exact location is uh, well, it's quite important. So we look around and we can see lots of mountains around. So here's one here. So we take a bearing off this and we find that it's 282 degrees. So all we do, same as the last one we did, we set our compass on 282 degrees. So 282 is directly underneath the index mark. And then we rotate the bezel until it is directly over the north arrow and then all we do put the edge of the compass so it's touching the top of the mountain and then rotate it and until the tritium mark is pointing straight up the map so it's about well, it's not about it is there so we're somewhere on that line we need more than one line because we need our location so here's another mountain and we take a bearing off this and this is 240 so once again, set your compass bearing to 240. So there it is. It's directly over 240. And rotate the bezel. Oops, another way. Until it's over the north arrow. The tritium mark is over the north arrow. And then put it on the edge. Put the edge on the top of the mountain and rotate it, the entire compass until the north arrow, uh, sorry, the tritium mark is pointing straight up the map, which is there. 
So that's our location. Now, when you're doing this sort of thing, because you're on a glacier and it's, it's uh, well, it's quite serious, what you need to do is, if it was me, I'd take a third bearing as well. So we, here's another mountain and it's one, three, four degrees. So here we go. So once again, let's set it on one, three, four. Let's wait till it stops spinning around. Right, that's on 140, 130, 134. So let's keep that still. And, oops, oops it's moved off 134. There it is. So that's that one set. Now, point this at the top of the mountain there. Once again, rotate it until the tritium mark it's pointing straight up the map, this one here, and it's touching the top of the mountain there. And then we draw our line, and we are at the, uh, the cross there. Now, that's all well and good, but what happens if there's a magnetic declination in our area? Let's say we have a magnetic declination, I don't know, 15. <laughs> east or west, it makes no difference. So let's say we have, in fact, no, let's say we have 15 west. So if, if you remember, we just took a bearing off that mountain, which is at 282. So here we go. So let's set the, uh, the compass at 282, which is here somewhere. Let's get it nice and, uh, I'm only gonna do two of these just to speed it up. So that's on 282. So we rotate the bezel until the tritium mark's there. Now what we do, now we account for declination. And don't forget, it's 15 degrees west, so we need to rotate it anti-clockwise five clicks. So one, two, three, four, five. Now we do exactly the same. Put the edge of the compass touching it, rotate it until the tritium mark is pointing straight up the map. That's that one, and then we draw a line. Okay, so this is our second line here. Now the next one we did was at 240 from this point, from this top of this mountain. So we set our compass on 240. That's here we go. Let's just whiz it round, sorry. Here we are, 240, 240, and then we set the bezel. And don't forget, we need to account for our 15 degrees west. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And off the top of this mountain here, we rotate it until the tritium mark is straight up. And that is there. So there's our new line. Now, this was our first location without doing magnetic declination. And this is our second location, taking into consideration the, mount, the magnetic declination. As you can see, there's quite a way, and on glaciated terrain, that could be uh, very serious if you don't do this. So you do need to account for magnetic declination if it's applicable in your area. So that is how you identify a ground feature on a map and also how, you've, how you could find yourself um, using relocation and triangulation. Thanks for watching.